we got a couple different wholesale accounts with a couple coffee shops around here uh, where they sell our donuts. Another big thing that's been uh, worked well for us, we went to a, uh, a real popular bar that's close to us and I pitched the owner about, you know, making our donuts for a hamburger and he really liked the idea. He thought it would bring a lot of traffic his way and it has. It's brought a lot of traffic his way and vice versa for us. People will see it on the menu, the Sublime Burger, you know, using our donuts as a hamburger. Then they'll come over here and become fans of us and then people will We'll tell people, because we got a picture over here at the shop, people be like, you make burgers here? We're like, we don't make burgers, but there's a bar right down the street which makes the world's greatest hamburger. And then people will go there and be like, wow, a donut is a perfect vehicle for a hamburger. <laughs> More people should be doing this. So that's been working out great for the both of us. So We use uh, just uh, one of our glazed donuts, our glazed ring donuts, and they split it in half and grill both sides and then put a hamburger with uh, bacon and cheddar on top. and. Uh, it's uh, the best hamburger, you know, you got that sweet and salty combination, you can't beat that, you know, you hit all your, your senses there, you know. With the foodie community, a lot of them want to see, you know, new products every day, but we've kind of gone, we're kind of in between the foodie community and the regular Joe Schmo. When they like something, that's what they want to eat every day, so. We got our core menu of probably about 28 donuts, but then with the food holidays and stuff and, you know, as different seasons come around, we try to do one donut every now and again that gets the foodies excited and they'll rush all over here. Once we tweet about it or Facebook about it, they'll run over here to hear, to, to try to be the first one to try it and be the first one to write a review about it. So that's kind of the balance there. Like right now, we're actually pushing the limit on our donut varieties because we're, we're, we keep going to around 30 and that gets to be too much where our case can't really handle 30 because then you gotta, if you do 30, you gotta do at least a dozen or 24 varieties of 30 in the case of the, all at the same time, we can't really handle that much. So we're kind of pushing it. So, and it's tough once we do a good product, you know, when people like it, they want to see it all the time and then we have to take away another product and that's always someone's favorite and then they're upset. Why don't you do my favorite? I'm like, we got a new, we should find a new favorite. So it's really a balance in my game. I mean, we got, a, we got our core list, but then we try to keep surprising them with new fun stuff as we think of it. So.